Okay, this is how we're gonna dismember the GoPro camera for surgery. What you're gonna need to do is remove the back panel where the battery compartment is, and there's four screws, Phillips head, and you wanna twist out all of those screws. Remember, two are a different size, so remember where they go. Two are smaller and two are a little bit larger. So uh, make sure you do it in an area where you've got a lot of room to work, so any parts that fall out, they can easily be found, as opposed to falling on the floor and losing something we're dealing with a real small animal here. So now there's a little button right here that you can pull out of the top. That's for uh, taking the snapshots. You want to pull that out of there and put it on the table away from everything else. And then there's two other screws located in the corners. Take those screws out. And then on the other side, there's going to be one more screw, which is going to equal seven total. Right there, okay? So now that we got the screws out, the whole circuit board comes right out of the front, and you're left with an empty housing shell. Now you have access to the lens, which to change the lens, now what we want to do is we're going to get the heat gun out and we're going to heat it up. You can use a hair dryer too. You probably want to go, if you're using a hair dryer, at least a good 15, 20 seconds of it real close up. We're using a heat gun that's on like a medium heat right now, not too intense. Make sure you go around the whole base of the, or the lens and move it from left to right going to a uh, nice oval shape and if you've got a piece of black tape or if you've got some uh, rubber you can coat your pliers we use heat shrink to coat ours and then you overturn a little bit try to tighten it first then you come back and then that loosens it up and then you'll break the glue seal they put some super glue on there so now that we've broken the super glue seal, we're going to leave the lens in the shaft and we're going to let it cool down, at least for a good 15 minutes, so the mold stays absolutely perfect. Now, after it's cooled down, we just thread the camera lens out. And then after you thread it out, set it off to the side, get your new lens, Whatever size that you have, whether it's a 1.7 or one of our aftermarket uh, 2.8s, and you want to put a little bit of a lubrication on the lens, Vaseline works, um, silicone grease, just a little bit around there, so when you actually put the lens back in, it lubricates the shaft. And when you want to, when you put the lens in, you have to make sure it's going in nice and even, evenly. You want to turn the lens backwards, or um, you want to uh, de-thread the lens uh, kind of while you're putting it in, and then slowly twist the lens in and make sure it's going in absolutely even, and it shouldn't be that difficult to make it go in evenly. You know, that's mandatory. You have to make sure if that thing starts to off-thread, and you look at it evenly, and you see that the, the lens is not perfectly straight, then you have to de-thread it and put it back in. Usually you won't have any problems, but once in a while we run into a couple that GoPro just, just they glued so bad that the threads are a little bit messed up. So what you want to do is you want to use a Q-tip with a little bit of goo gone around the inside of the shaft right at the top part of it. And that way the goo gone will take off any kind of glue residue left by the 1.7 lens that they originally installed in there. And also another thing to remember is if you get any kind of dust or particles on the CCD down in the hole, you can always use a, uh, like an air duster to blast away all the debris. And if you notice there's like a, you got a little bit of a, uh, uh, some kind of a glitch in the video where it looks um, like a dead spot, you can use Windex to clean our lens and you can also use Windex and a Q-tip 
to clean the GoPro CCD and it will not harm it. We've done this plenty of times and it works great. So then you basically put the camera back together just like it is. Uh, you're going to need the, the new software in your GoPro, the firmware update, which will allow you to live view in real time the image so you can focus your new lens to perfection. Rage Cam's taking it to the next level.